So everybody has problems they want uh, politicians to address. Turns out even rich people feel like they need representation in America. You think I'm kidding? Michael, Joe Biden said yesterday that his campaign is Scranton versus Park Avenue. Why is he going with this divide and conquer approach? That's Trump's thing. What about a message for all Americans? <laughs> NBC, MSNBC is so shitty that I even dislike their criticisms of Joe Biden. <laughs> their criticisms of Joe Biden suck. <laughs> She's upset that he made some ridiculous pandering mention, a platitude of his hometown. I'm, of all the things to criticize Joe Biden for, giving a shout out to his hometown, definitely top of the list. <laughs> Do you see if you're a millionaire, what your priorities are? This is what your priorities are. Joe Biden platitudes. That's what you're upset about. Not Joe Biden's policy, because she loves Joe Biden's policy, because nothing is going to fundamentally change. I'm not. Okay, here we go. Michael, Joe Biden said yesterday that his campaign is Scranton versus Park Avenue. Why is he going with this divide and conquer approach? That's Trump's thing. What about a message for all Americans? I don't live on Park Avenue, but I live pretty close to it. And you know how I got there? Working my butt off. He doesn't want my vote. <laughs> MSNBC sticking up for the few who really need it. The <laughs> highest tax bracket in America. <laughs> She's literally sticking it. When is she going to start taking care of the rich people? When do we get ours? <laughs> when is government going to start working for the wealthy? Why don't you come get my vote? I'm wealthy. <laughs> what is, what's government going to do for me? <laughs> She spent more time on a BS tweet from uh, Joe Biden. Hey, Joe Biden says, go vote for Trump, fat MSNBC. That's OK. Joe Biden. I'm from Scranton, MSNBC. My pearls are clutched. <laughs> Our media is so shitty. I'm rolling my eyes at criticism of Joe Biden. We need a government that works for all Americans. So give us health care. No, no, I mean the rich people. <laughs> you want to see that again? I do. Mm -hmm. This is, come on. Michael, Joe Biden said yesterday that his campaign is Scranton versus Park Avenue. Why is he going with this divide and conquer approach? That's Trump's thing. What about a message for all Americans? I don't live on Park Avenue, but I live pretty close to it. And you know how I got there? Working my butt off. He doesn't want my vote. Hey, if you're really rich in America, like she is, and you're not sure which politicians are looking out for your interests, I'll give you a hint. All of them! <laughs> In case you don't know. <laughs> this entire segment is like if an, an entitled Yelp review became a panel. <laughs> By the way, uh, fascinating moment this AM on the trail when MSNBC host and former banking executive Stephanie Rule asked Bernie Sanders... One might argue that Bernie Sanders does stand for that person who is struggling. But what about the affluent person? Are they welcome in your modern family? This is a pattern of hers. Her concern is not for the poor in America or the working class or people who have problems. Her concern is for the wealthy who don't have any problems. Are we going to take care of them? What about the affluent? What are you doing for them? Like, she's affluent, and she's not, how can we help other people who are have less than us? She's like, what are you going to do for me? How can I get a little more? Ask not what you can do for your country. Ask what your country can do for you, if you're really wealthy.
Won't someone think of all the millionaires? Like even the most banal of empty platitudes signaling to poor people will get these people upset. Even the most banal. The most banal of empty platitudes signaling to poor people will get the... That's all he was doing. He's not actually going to help pe- poor people, Stephanie Rule. Joe Biden isn't going to do anything. Joe Biden put poor people in prison. Joe Biden made it hard for people who, who were poor and bankrupt to declare bankruptcy. Joe Biden kicked people who got couldn't pay their mortgage out of their house in the middle of a depression. Joe Biden is the enemy of poor people already, Stephanie. You don't have to worry. It's back. Oh, by the way, it's backbreaking work to be married to a hedge fund. She's married to a hedge fund manager. You want to know how she worked her butt off? She said she worked her butt off. Well, let's go to her Wikipedia page. You want to see how she worked her butt off? By the way, her parents are Frank and Louise Rule, and she was raised in Park Ridge, New Jersey. She is a graduate of Lehigh University, where she earned her bachelor's degree in international business in 1997. As part of her major, she studied in Guatemala, Italy, and Kenya. Rule returned to Lehigh to give the 27 commencement address. Now, she did work hard to be born into privilege. In 2017, Park Ridge, New Jersey, had a population of 8.9 thousand people with a median age of 44 and a median household income of $106,000. That's Park Ridge, New Jersey. It has a median income of $106,000. That's Park Ridge. That's where she was born. How about Soledad O'Brien? She She's upset, too. Soledad O'Brien. Oh Joe Biden no. says this election is Scranton versus Park Avenue. Soledad O'Brien. Or both. New York City's Park Avenue is amazing. No need to knock it. Would be nice to have a president who sees every American as worth fighting for. Thank you. Hey, who's pledging to fight for the rich? That's got who's got my vote. <laughs> That's Soledad O'Brien. <laughs> Again, born without a shame button in her brain. I don't know what her mother did raising her, but whatever it did, Soledad O'Brien is missing the shame button. She doesn't know that, that, she, that a normal person would feel embarrassment. She doesn't know. She doesn't have the ability to feel humiliation. Can you believe this? It we is. need a president who sees every American <laughs> yes. as worth fighting for. Do millionaires really need someone fighting for them? What would you like them to fight for you for, Soledad? What is it that you need from Joe Biden he's not giving you? What is it? More tax breaks? What do you want from Joe Biden? <laughs> Soledad O'Brien, one of those people who blames movie stars for uh, the Trump's presidency. Powerless movie stars. She doesn't blame the establishment or the people who give her or pay her, sign her checks. But because this is how she thinks. Could you imagine that being that fucking ridiculous on purpose? Could you imagine that being that unaware that you're that ridiculous? You're like a cartoon of a person. But for real. Can anyone here explain to me what exactly Park Avenue investors are intrinsically vulnerable to and what kind of ruination they need defending from? (laughs) Good point, notorious hag. (laughs) Dave Anthony says, I want this movie to end with Soledad O'Brien fighting others for scraps of food under a freeway overpass. Me too. Wouldn't that be sweet? Mm. See Soledad O'Brien fighting for food scraps underneath an overpass with other people? Because that's where she does that's what she deserves. If there was if if this was a a just world, that's what would happen. Hey, media figures completely melting down over Joe effing Biden and indulging in utterly mundane and superficial Scranton versus Park Avenue campaign rhetoric makes it crystal clear. Why they found Bernie Sanders so completely intolerable. 
Isn't that something? Yeah, Bernie Sanders would talk about helping people who need help in America, and people like Soledad O'Brien would melt down over it because she doesn't need any help in America. So she doesn't give a fuck about those people. But doesn't it make you wonder, Jimmy, what exactly does Park Avenue need? What more do that's they what, need? That's what we're asking. What is the problem? What isn't, go- what isn't government doing for Park Avenue right now? I guess Soledad O'Brien could not tell us. But she certainly could not tell us. The Stephanie Rule took to the air to whine that Park <laughs> Avenue lives matter. <laughs> Park Avenue lives matter. During a time of unprecedented unemployment and housing insecurity for 50 million Americans is just perfect. An MSNBC host whining that Park Avenue lives matter. Ah, it's a t-shirt. We should make that (laughs) t-shirt. Mike Timpson, please get on that and we'll make that t-shirt. And then we'll sell it. And then we'll give the the proceeds... Of that teacher to, uh, you know, Stephanie Rule in the 1%. Because <laughs> so what, she, what Soledad O'Brien does not understand is that Scranton is his public position. Park Avenue is Joe Biden's private position. Hey, Joe Biden, senator of Delaware for four decades, created a tax haven for banks and drug dealers. More, cra- more corporations reside in Delaware than... PPL? What is that? What is PPL? Than people? More corporations. Oh, there's more corporations. People. More corporations reside in Delaware than people. Is that a real fact? I bet that I would. I wouldn't doubt it. Biden's son Hunter was hired out of law school by MBNA. <laughs> That's also correct. His bankruptcy bill hurt middle class and working people. Imagine Stephanie Rule getting the prep notes for that segment because they get the you know. Here's your sec- next segment. You're going to be upset that Joe Biden said Scranton versus Park Avenue. Imagine you get that, that this is our segment. That's what we're supposed to do. This is our segment. Yes, this is your segment. You're instructed to be upset mm. that Joe Biden is splitting America <laughs> by saying he's going to stick up for people who aren't in the 1%. You got it? Got it. Is this Does this go under the umbrella of journalism still? It does? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, everybody. This is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program and get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video.